وبثائي ثوابا في ايكي قالك اوكي وبالجيم جمالا وبالجيم جمالا सांस लेके तसल्ली से इस तरह मंडे वैरी फिर मंडे आपको सुना देगा सब हाँ चोरी तस्वीर नहीं है जी जी ठीक है तो मंडे इंशाल्लाह भाई मंडे है वो लिसन तू दिया कर जाता है ये वैरी मिस्टेक तस्वीर परफेक्ट तो इस एनीबॉडी एल्स रेडी टुडे विद अ स्पीच बिकॉज़ दिस वाज सुपोस्ट बी द ड्रेस रिहर्सल फ are you giving the speech? It's a dhan, 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 it's a because what we don't want to do is set up such a big, because we've created a lot of hype about this event. And what I don't want you to do is come on Wednesday and say, I had school work. No, 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 Tuesday. My advice is Tuesday. Yeah. Everybody's ready by Tuesday. So Tuesday in the month, then they go five o'clock. Well, one day, don't read your summer. Focus on that. It is a very last minute dot com. Yeah, yeah. Tuesday. Monday or Tuesday, I would say. Yeah. Everyone should have been done by now. Should be ready. Yeah. Speech. Oh, your job is to engage everybody. And now we're welcoming Saif Malik. I haven't done the introduction. Is that going to start his speech? No, 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 because I have to do the introduction and just start off with Saif. Just make an introduction up now. Just make one up, make one up. I'm trying to get you into the practice of public speaking. Five pillars of Islam. Shahada, the testimony of faith. The Shahada is the most fundamental expression of Islamic belief. It, sim it simply states that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his prophet. <coughs> Can I have everyone to say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? It is an extremely popular phrase and it comes up in Arabic calligraphy numerous times. You better keep speaking like you're in a speech. Okay. The second pillar of Islam is Salah. Salah is an important part in Islam as it is mentioned in the Hadith. As Salatul Mirajul Mu'min. The prayer is the ascension of the believers. It consists of five daily prayers Fajr, Zuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha. Fajr is performed at dawn, Zuhr is the noon prayer, Asr is performed in the afternoon. Maghrib is the sunset prayer and Isha is the evening prayer. Each prayer consists of certain amount of rakat. A prayer, cons a prayer either consists of two, three or four rakat. All of these prayers are recited while facing the Kaaba in Makkah. Muslims must clean themselves before prayer. This is called wuzu or ablution. Wuzu is the key, uh, key to prayer. al wudu ul mifta us salah Zakat. Zakat is practice of charity. Muslims will give charity based on accumulated wealth. This is obligatory for all who are able to do so. It is considered to be a personal responsibility for Muslims to ease economic hardship for others and eliminate inequality. Zakat consists of spending 2.5% of one's wealth for the benefit of the poor or needy. A Muslim can also donate more as voluntary charity, which is called sadaqa to achieve additional reward in the hereafter. Psalm, fasting, is the fourth, fourth, pillar of, fourth pillar of Islam, and it is the fasting of Ramadan, which is the ninth month in the Islamic calendar. Muslims tend to fast for a whole month from dawn to dusk. People who are mentally and physically not well may be excused. Okay, so that's your speech, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, take a seat. Feedback on the speech? Any comments? Need to speak louder. Anybody else? Yeah. You're a bit more confident. A bit more confident. Okay. Is that plugged in? It's plugged in. Okay, let's turn that on. Right.
Okay, the last speeches I'm going to focus on. Can you want to say something? Yeah. I was saying, if there's like MPs and stuff, they like go through what was always there, how do you do it? Like, I, I, I would. Like, like, turn, turn, turn like, the speaker on. Muslim, like, go through how, how you do with it. Yeah. I think that's too much detail. Yeah. Yeah. Too much in brief is good. Yeah. 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 So the time will be short. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, when you, when you learn about it, how you learn about heart, yeah, because when you learn about how you're more fluent, it's more of a speech, yeah. okay? Just Reading a paper, anyone can do. Of course. Yeah? Just so, the Yeah. And even if you get something, you need to improvise on the spot, make it more fluent as well. That's yeah. the whole point of the speech as well. You can't oh. interact with this audience. There's no point in reading from paper, because the whole point of the speech is to get people engaged. So yeah. nowadays we hear people, people doing speeches, and we're not interested, it's because no one's engaging with the, with the audience. As long as you're engaging with the audience, everyone will be engage with you as well and that will be more of a speech. Yes. Yeah, eye context, yeah. Eye context. What was that? Eye, eye, eye context. context. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to say something which might be a bit harsh, but I want everyone's views. Yeah. I'm not sure whether speeches should be read from the paper. Because people don't come to a prestigious event to be read at. Okay? Especially when the whole majlis is about hufaz e karam where the pride is on your memory. <laughs> it's ironic. So that's why we gave you a long time to prepare. A long time to prepare. I have to look with two lenses on my eyes. The first lens is opportunity. We have to give you opportunity. If we don't give you opportunity, you're not going to get better. Okay? The second lens I have to look through is what I call a business or corporate lens for the organization. We have to do what is best for the organization. If we all do mesmerizing performances, people are going to want to support us and want to send their children to us. So I need to know if by Wednesday you're not going to be able to do this by heart, I mean, Quranic recitation, fine, you don't have to memorize that, but speeches at least should be memorized. If they're not memorized, what's the consensus? What's the view? Should they be read or not? Uh, I, I think as long as they have a few pointers, bullet points, a few pointers, and they, they, they can start speaking on the pointers. Yeah. Because if you're speaking on pointers, you're more fluent. It's not bullet something to rehearse. Because there's, there's no, it's not really the speech if it's just um, memorized. Okay. Let's say if um, you have your host. Uh, your whole speech in front of you, mm. he sees it as a guidance. But you're more likely to be drawn by it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. happens because in, when, when you're in an audience, a big event, you get nervous yeah. and your brain just says read. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think the pointers I'll accept then as a middle case, but in future events I won't accept that as well. Even pointers are saying as in just a topic, yeah. saying the first uh, hajj. Okay, oh, like two, yeah. two points, you, two main points you're going to make. You look at it, oh yes, I can talk about this. Yeah. As long as you have one point, even a word, then you know what you're talking about. Yes. Then it's more likely to be fluent as well. Yes. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you two examples here, okay? Okay. I'm going to talk about your speech yeah. in two ways. Okay. And I just want to give you a hint. <coughs> My speech is about the five pillars. I'm going to talk about the kalima. The first kalima is La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This this means um, this means this means the first part means um, um, okay uh, what does it mean the second part means now I'm going to go on to the shahada that's the first thing okay <laughs> now here's the second thing let's say I genuinely forget the meaning yeah. listen to the second speech. My speech is about the five pillars. The first pillar is the kalima, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. The second pillar is, now which is smoother? Second one. Second one, right? If you forget, yes. move on. Move on, okay, in public speaking. It's, it's really off-putting to be hesitant in a public speech. It makes you look, look bad. Yeah. So let's say you've got pointers and you forget your point, yeah, yeah. do not worry, okay? okay? Because it's not like, a surah where you have to recite everything it's just a speech it's trying to just convey your basic points the last thing we're going to discuss today because time is pressing on is i want the four hufas to come to the front so that's half a sub half a sub and half where's half is uh, here okay stand up for me
I know that you're not going to have much time now to prepare for your acceptance speeches, okay? So I want you to give it off the cuff. Does anyone know what off the cuff means? Off the top of your head. Off the, off the top of the head, yes, good, okay. So this is what's going to happen at some point in the event. We're going to say, now the moment that everybody has been waiting for, we are going to invite our four eminent Hafaz. Some of them are as young as, how old are you? Ten. How old are you? Four. How old are you? Thirteen. Thirteen. Some of them, are, did we finish when you were ten? Yeah. Yeah. Some of them are as young as ten, and they have memorized the entire Quran. Can we say Subhanallah? Subhanallah. Subhanallah. To make ziyara of these Hafaz is a privilege for us, <coughs> for our eyes to, in this day and age, see children who have dedicated their time, their heart, their energies, to memorizing the Holy Quran. And I want to say to parents here that those children who have used their talent rather than playing games or PlayStation or consoles to memorize the Holy Quran, their minds have opened up so much that even their schoolwork has now become easy for them. I'm going to invite the four Hufas. The first Hafiz is Hafiz Muhammad Ismail. Yeah. Yeah. Hafiz Muhammad Ismail. I'm going to request Hafiz Saab to come to the stage. I'm also going to, to request Hafiz Fayaz Kazi. Muhammad Fayaz Boryawala. Muhammad Fayaz Boryawala to the stage. Right, yeah, I'll write that down. <laughs> and I'm going to invite uh, Hafiz Aman Hussein. Aman Hussein to the stage and Hafiz. This has to be done by someone else. This won't be done by That's me. That's okay, no. fine. And Hafiz Adil to the stage. So we're all here now, okay? okay. <coughs> the first thing that we're going to ask the Hufaz Ikram to do is they will recite the four kuls. Yeah. One, uh, they will e each take one of the four kuls. And then Hafiz Fiyaz Sahid will also read the Wai Khatm al Quran. Okay? So if we begin with Surah Kafir. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل يا أيها الكافرون لا أعبد ما تعبدون ولا آتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد لكم دينكم اليدين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاتق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في العقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس محمد إسماعيل عبد الكلاق سيتلي الكلاق بس نقول هو الله أحد باس كولدي ور محمد فياض قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس 
من الجنة والنار